eternity ago, I took advantage of some poor judgment on my parents' part and some gaudy persuasion on my part to land myself a round-trip ticket to Durham, North Carolina from my home in Arizona. Already excited, I called up my biffles at Duke <laughs> and made a sad attempt at organizing some plans for the weekend. I didn't know it yet, but I was already hopelessly in over my head. Thursday afternoon, my mom drops me off at the West Campus bus stop for my first day of school. Poor Jackie, immediately she went comatose with emotion, suffocating me with a hug and going on and on about how much she loves me. She always tries to embarrass me. Parents. After just enough time for me to relive a childhood of suppressed memories, one of my new friends, let's call him Justin, because his name is Justin, <laughs> arrived to give me a campus tour. Brochures can't prepare you for the first time you set eyes on this gothic wonderland in person. The gardens, the chapel, yada yada. Duke is beautiful, you go here, you know. <laughs> Still, this was one of those incredible experiences for me. Duke felt more like home than any other college so far. I love Duke the way my mom loved me. <laughs> and it kept getting better. I sat in on two poli-sci classes, loved the professors, and except for the Carolina weather, Everything was pretty cool. <laughs> but Friday was when I realized I was biting off more than I could chew. This occurred to me as I tried to jam a third cookie into my mouth from all blah, whatever, ABP. <laughs> Literally, no one knows how to pronounce it. <laughs> for a cookie eating contest for some international food fest on the plaza. See, that was when I first heard that detestable phrase straight out of every girl's most quotable movie that shook me to the core. He doesn't even go here. <laughs> oh really, thanks Damien. <laughs> that hurtful reminder left a bitter taste in my mouth even after the cookie eating contest. But this bitterness wasn't going away anytime soon. See, this wasn't any ordinary weekend. By an act of destiny, this was countdown to craziness and Duke vs. UNC football game weekend. And by a miracle, which was really just a little help for my friends, I had entry to both. Countdown to craziness was completely foreign to me. And it ended up being amazing. Still, somehow, that nagging phrase, he doesn't even go here, kept catching up with me. Then, Saturday night, in what I can only call the greatest football game I have ever attended, Duke shocked UNC with an unforgettable catch and an even more unforgettable celebration. But charging the field, being the only Pifrosh, hearing among the cheers, he doesn't even go here, still shook me. All right, being a Pifrosh for the weekend wasn't the worst thing in the world. In fact, it was my most memorable experience of the semester. But that's kind of why it hurts so much. This university represents all my hopes and dreams for the next four years, and is what I would like to call home more than any other place in the nation. Except there's an 11% admissions rate. I have a lingering feeling of Duke homesickness, even back at my real home in Arizona. Duke taught me that it's much worse to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. <coughs> so please, make the most of your opportunity here at Duke, and remember how lucky you are.
And fingers crossed that next fall, 